to be more confident and make more money. Let's get into it. If you didn't know this already, 80% of women, which is horrifying to me, say that the reason they are not selling or making as much money as they would like to be is because they lack the confidence to sell. Does this resonate with you? Are you one of those people who loves the idea of having a lot of money, but is maybe avoiding the phone or stumbling over your words when it's time to talk to someone about what you do, or maybe not talking to anyone about what you do. And maybe no one even knows that you have something for sale. If we haven't met before, my name is Liv Chapman. I'm the CEO of IGC Coaching School. We have trained and certified thousands of life coaches over the past decade, and not just life coaches with a certificate collecting dust, but six-figure plus earning coaches, because we promise to teach you everything you need to know to sell your services. We're going to get into that today, and we're going to unpeel the layers of the confidence block that so many women especially, but this could go for anyone, experience when it actually comes time to do the damn thing, to sell the services. I have worked with so many women who love designing the package. They love the idea of helping people. They put endless finishing touches on their websites or their program outlines or the features and benefits of their package. But then when it comes time to actually start talking to people about who they are, what they do, and which package is right for them, it's like, it just doesn't happen. Like, where did you go? Why did you put so much effort into getting training, getting certified, putting this together, only to disappear when it's showtime? Not under my watch. So let's uncover three ways to boost your confidence and make more money. All right. Number one, and I'm going in order. Okay. Number one thing that you a thousand percent need, and I can't believe anyone would try to sell without one of these, is a sales call script. You need a script. When you are seasoned, when you are selling 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, we could keep going, packages, maybe you don't feel that you need the script anymore. But when you are, especially when you are just getting started, you a thousand percent need a script. You need to follow a script and move through every aspect of a productive sales call. That alone is going to increase your confidence. I can promise you that. If you're avoiding the phone or avoiding talking to people about what you do, usually it's because you don't actually know what to say. So imagine knowing exactly what to say, how to open the call, the questions that you actually ask the person that lead to them saying yes when you present the offer and close the sale. If you don't have one of these, please get the free one that we offer in the comments below. Uh, Share it with everyone who needs it also. This is a sales call script template. So we're gonna give you, if you're like, well, I don't know what I'm gonna ask. We're gonna give you most of the questions that you need to ask and the path that you need to take someone on on a sales call but you are going to fill it in with your exact offer and exactly what you're pitching on the call, okay? That's number one. You're going to use a script. Until you are selling at a 60, 70, 80% close rate, this script is Bible, okay? So if you don't have one, you're gonna get one in the comments below and you are going to edit it and make it your own, all right? That's number one. You're going to get the script and you're going to edit it and make it your own. That alone, game changer. Number two, someone taught me this years ago. What? I don't know where those balloons came from. Okay, number two, (laughs) you are going to practice the script. First, you're going to practice it by yourself in the mirror, looking at yourself, asking the questions, making sure you feel super comfortable with how you worded them. If they feel really off, you're going to fumble them on the call. You're going to fumble them and you're not going to close them. I don't know how else to say it. Okay. So step number two is you're going to practice the script by yourself. Okay. And then two A, so this is still in number two, this practicing the script piece. You're going to practice with a colleague, a friend, 
an online friend, someone not an ideal client, okay? You don't want to practice your script on calls where anywhere from, you know, $600 to $60,000 or more is on the line. Okay. So depending on what you sell your packages for, it's w worth way too much to be practicing the script on the actual sales call or discovery call. So you need to find a few trusted friends or colleagues or classmates or whatever and practice the script on them. And if you know that you're getting a certain objection, so maybe you have done a couple sales calls or maybe you have talked to people about coaching before and their automatic response is, oh yeah, I'm gonna do that after X, Y, Z, AKA they're, they're stalling. That's the stalling objection. Or it's, I mean, ever so common, the money objection. Oh, I would love to do that, but I doubt I could afford it. Or I'm going to do that like when I have more money, snooze and make sure you uh, watch our next video on objections or coaching through objections on a sales call. Make sure the person you are practicing with comes at you hard with those objections. Okay. So whichever ones that you're predicting or you've already been getting, prep them. Okay. So tell them, I'm going to go through this whole sales call. You're going to pretend that you really need, you know, career coaching or executive coaching or life coaching or confidence coaching or relationship coaching, marketing coaching, business, co whatever it may be. You're going to tell your person, here's what I'm selling. Here's what you need, but you can't afford it. Or you need to wait until X, Y, Z happens, or you're not sure your husband or your partner will say yes, or you want to do this if then, right? Some conditional thing. Whatever those objections are, prep your person with them, okay? So let's run it back for a second before I give you number three. Number three, I actually think is like the easiest, but number one, like I said, order of importance is to have a script. If you don't have one, get one below. Number two is practice that script. First, practice it a few times alone to make sure you nailed the language. And then after you feel like you've got the language down, you're going to start practicing it with someone else. Okay. And prep them with the objection. If they come on there and they're like, sure, or sign up in like five minutes, that's probably not reality. Even some of my warmest leads, my hottest clients, the one who reached out to me and was like, I'm signing up for your program. I just want to chat with you first to make sure that like you're real or whatever. You still like they're still going to have questions. They still may have objections, AKA buying questions, and you need to be prepared. Okay. You're going to get the easy yeses. I promise you're going to get the easy yeses if you stick with your business and stick with your offers, but you want to be super prepared for any objections that may typically come up. And the only way to be super prepared is to practice before the live Call, do not practice when there is two, five, 10, 20, however many thousand dollars on the line. I cannot drill this in enough. If you are sitting there and you're like, I need six one on one coaching clients a week, and you do not have six one on one coaching clients booked on your schedule this week, all of those hours that you have blocked off in your calendar for clients that do not exist yet, that is when you are practicing your script. You are practicing with a friend. You are revising your script if you need to. You are reaching out to new potential people. And that's a whole nother video we're gonna get into as well. This whole month is based on sales and I'm gonna give you everything I possibly can to increase your revenue, increase your confidence, and ultimately be able to be that woman that has enough money to do whatever the heck they want, to make really good choices, to change the world if they see fit, and ultimately has the business she's been dreaming of. Sales is the key. I love coaching. I love managing the company. I love the creative process, but none of that means jack if I can't sell all the stuff I've created. None of it. I couldn't pay my team if I couldn't sell. I couldn't pay my bills if I couldn't sell. Selling is the peak of the mountain. I don't know how else to say it. It's the most Obviously, you have to have a great service, right? But it is one of the most important skills any woman can have. Sca sales are teachable. It's a teachable set of skills, okay? But it starts with this confidence piece. And the confidence piece is built on having a solid script and practicing it, okay? So we've got one and two. And then number three is a little bit more being based. It's a little less do, do, do. 
Number three is to be the woman, the human, the person that sells the insert amount here service. Okay. So as you're prepping your script, and like I said, down below, if you need one, there is a section where you are actually putting the pitch in there. So what are you selling? I do not ever recommend going into a sales call with more than one or two things that would be the right fit for this person. And in any sales call, your job is not to push your agenda on them. Your job is to get them in the right coaching package that's going to ultimately bring them to the level that they want to have in their life, right? So typically, if you're just getting started, a one-on-one -on -one package is a minimum of 90 days. So three months, you meet with your client weekly, very average introductory rate for a new or certified coach. I'm not talking about ICF credentials. I'm just talking about, you know, in training or just certified is around $150 a session. If you're meeting with your clients weekly, that means they're paying you $600 a month. Okay. So if even with the most basic package, $600 a month for three months, you're talking about $1,800. Okay. You need to be the woman, human person that sells an $1,800 coaching package in one 30 minute call. So what does that mean? How do you get into that being or that energy where this is your natural state of being? This is who you are. You are her. You are that girl that can spend 30 minutes on the phone with someone and sell them something that costs $1,800. What do you have to do to be her? Do you need to go for a run? Do you need to do your hair and makeup? Do you need to put on some red lipstick? Do you need to have sex? Do you need to call someone and get a pep talk? What do you need to do to be her? Because the way that you show up for you first that's the magnetic energy. That's the person on the other line thinking, damn, I want to be in a relationship with her. And remember, coaching is a relationship. So, you know, stay, you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. So you need to figure out what it takes for you to get in that headspace. Now, I really am a little bit talking to more of the beginners or the people who pop their coaching certificate up on a shelf and it's collecting dust and you're kind of like, huh, maybe I should do something with that. This is your cue. This is your cue. But as you get better and better at sales, you may not need to put on a pair of Louboutins or a pair of high heels to and walk around your house to boost your confidence before a 30 minute call. But when you have not been closing, you do not get to wing it anymore. It doesn't even make sense. Your job is to take as much effort as you would put into planning a girl's trip or into your husband or into your kids or into your partner or into decorating your home or whatever that thing is, that's how much energy, if not more, that you need to put into you and becoming the person that does and sells and provides this level of service, okay? So think about that for yourself. It is just as important as the little tweaks that I know you wanna make on your website. It's just as important as figuring out the features and benefits. I don't even know the last time I sold a package based on the features and benefits. In coaching, they're buying your expertise, your professionalism, your vibe, and the transformation that you tell them and that you know in your soul is possible if they work with you in this co-creative relationship, okay? So you need to be the person that embodies that, all right? So I know I gave you a lot, but it starts with confidence. Your ability to make money is directly tied to your level of confidence, okay? And how you feel about what you are about to do. And the best way to do that is doing exactly what I said today. Get your script, practice it, and be the person that sells the insert price point services here. What does she look like? How does she feel? What does she act like? All of that is going to influence the sale. That energy is what's going to bring life to the script. It's going to bring a vibe. It's going to bring energy to the idea of spending 90 days where I meet with you weekly and probably talk to you in between, like you need to show up as the person that people actually want to pay to be around you.
Okay. I hope that is helpful. If you found this helpful, please share it with someone that you know. Subscribe to our channel. We are doing a ton of videos over the next month, all about sales and selling services, selling coaching services, and you do not want to miss it. I will see you on the next video.